I'm Dr. Austin Brocky, a physician and coach at Barbell Medicine. The question is, uh, what's the most common error that I see in trainees? I think it's probably having inappropriate expectations about the nature of uh, progression, strength adaptation, things like that, in terms of over-interpreting ups and downs, um, expecting that the process is far more linear than it actually is in, in practice, both in training and in rehab. The question is what people should do differently when training old people. I think that um, probably one of the things that I tend to do more often is uh, getting to know the person, their beliefs and their expectations before I start uh, so that I can reframe and do some education. A lot of people, particularly as they get older, they have self-perceptions of being more fragile or that uh, exercise resistance training is more threatening, more dangerous to them. And I think that I would aim to dispel that, build more confidence and self-efficacy in the process rather than reinforcing those and making them feel like a fragile, super special population. Um, uh, that's probably where I would where I would start. Question is, what is my favorite Keanu Reeves movie? Uh, I'm not good at remembering all of them off the top of my head. I feel like the most recent ones I rewatched were the Matrix series uh, last year. Yeah, so it could be Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Matrix, Speed, John Wick. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's probably close between The Matrix and John Wick. John Wick has just like brainless entertainment value. <laughs> Matrix makes you think a little more, but. Uh. Questions what I normally eat for breakfast. It's usually uh, old fashioned oats, not quick oats like Jordan prefers, mixed with some whey usually. To be clear, this is not an old fashioned. Not an old fashioned for breakfast, old fashioned oats. <laughs> Question is, what is my favorite activity to do outside the gym? Uh, Lorraine and I like checking out new restaurants and trying different cocktails and things like that. That's usually our favorite thing to do. What is my favorite part about working with Barbell Medicine? I think that it has um, probably been the collaborative learning uh, uh, effects in terms of, you know, I could have ended up going through standard medical training and becoming a doctor like any other doctor out there, but I think I've developed a unique skill set and education and bouncing ideas off one another has uh, expanded things much more quickly and more broadly than we would have otherwise had. So hashtag range. <laughs> Questions, what is my personal best lifting moment? Oh, man, um, I think my favorite was the first time I pulled 700. I, I knew it. Yeah. I, knew it. I mean, it's tough because squatting 500 for 10 was sweet too, but one RMs are just, I mean, better. That was a humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Questions, do I have any hidden talents? Um, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> They're all on display. <laughs> yes, this is, this is it. Open book. <laughs> Questions, Lasha can clean and jerk 264. Does he have the potential to deadlift 500? I think estimating people's potential is a fool's errand, uh, but I think that whether he can pull 500, I think is probably unlikely. I mean, it's a low percentage shot. Yes. Who pulls 500? Uh, one person. Yeah. Not anymore, even. Right. He's lost a bunch of weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, questions, kind of what my initial approach is to somebody who has one lift that's not necessarily responding to the programming. So I try to get a sense of what their programming history has been like, what they've tried, if they think anything has worked better or worse than anything else. And then really it's just a matter of experimenting with some of the variables. So if they're doing high specificity, I might change them to lower specificity or introduce more variation, adjust the dose of volume, might give them uh, a higher dose of intensity. I don't think that there's a standard sequence that I necessarily go through, but we typically talk about programming in terms of the dose of uh, training and the formulation of training. And so I think that typically I'll look at changing the formulation of training if somebody has been working for a little while and nothing's responding. And then from there, if I get a little progress, then I might bump up the dose from there. So formulation and dose is what we look at. <laughs> The 
the question was Team J Lo or Shakira. I think I'm leaning Team J Lo. <laughs> J Lo, any any particular? Uh, just preference, I guess. I don't know. You <laughs> Lopez to Shakira. <laughs> I suppose. So.